Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you something which is very much asked in the business scenarios is around the last 30 days sales or last 60 days sales and maybe you can create measures like this or you can create even flag like this say last 30 days you select one shows you the last 30 days sales or let's say you want to view the last 60 days sales you can even view the last 60 days sales over here based on this flag right so that is based on uh, you know the columns that i have created in the back end and with the help of this you can create last 15 days 60 days 90 days plus 90 days plus 30 days because all, it's all about arithmetic you keep doing plus and minus and you will start getting the result that you are expecting and uh, before i show that just a quick information that all of these videos which i produce on my channel is present in this google where I will keep all of my videos and you can see it's more than 200 videos right now uh, if I go in the end so all the titles are present over here in column A and in column B you have the link of these videos that way you can come over here very easily search any of my videos and jump on to that using the link present in column B right so I keep posting these type of solutions based on the scenarios and uh, I am I'm finding or I'm seeing that I'm be, you are asking me I create that and I post it over here as well as dashboards like right project management dashboard and so many dashboards I have posted as a project so with that information let's go back all right so what do we need to do so the step number one is what I'm doing is I'm going in a table as you can see over here and the first thing is it is based on the order date right so this is the transaction date or the order date the date on which the order was placed so we need to identify the latest date in this case because we are showing last 30 days or last uh, 90 days last 15 days so this is nothing but based on latest date so what i identified is latest latest order date with the help of very simple formula max of order date and we can check that it is 30th of december uh, 2020 and we can check uh, validate it again with the help of the order date which is present over here and there you will see dates are starting and going all the way till the down and then we need to basically check what is the latest date over here because it is not alpha this is sorted alphabetically that's why it is coming like this so what I know from my data set that this is the right date once I have validated this right make sure you validate that after you have done the validation for creating a flag the formula that I need to put is very simple under the if condition so the this is latest 30 day flag and we are saying if our order date the date on which the order was placed is less than equal to the latest date which is this date right and ampersand ampersand is the sign for and and the order date is greater than equal to the latest date minus 30 this is the key right because you can specify minus 30 you can specify 60 15 10 5 7 whatever you want you can put it out here right so that way not just minus let's say you want to understand the future for example in these scenarios like you are you are working in a company who is basically looking at the future deals right how many deals are due for closure in next 30 days or how many deals I have in pipeline in next 30 days is something you can view it from here right so that way you can create all the flags that you need right or all the columns that you need and keep getting the output same way if you see I have created minus 60 and this is the last 60 days flag then we can configure a simple visualization like this in a table chart which is this chart by taking our dimension and the measure and then using the flag which is 0 and 1 1 basically indicate that late last 30 days sales so this is 30 days sales when i say 60 days sales this is my last 60 days sales and the total so that is what i wanted to show you in this video as to how you can go and achieve this and uh, get the desired output so with that information uh, thank you so much for watching the video and i will meet you in the next video with some new topic till then bye bye